Hey there, it's Melissa Fabiano, and I want to talk to you really quickly today about a topic that has come up a lot in the past few days in my personal life. I'm um, just in a few different conversations that I've had with people around the ideas of vulnerability, owning your story, and owning your truth. Now, I've made it very clear through the work that I do and through the stuff that I share on social media about my struggles with self-image, self-love, body image, and my struggles with disordered eating and all that kind of stuff. And I've had a few people approach me just saying, how did you get comfortable enough to just put yourself out there like that? Like some of these topic matters that I talk about and some of these things that I've been through and so many people have been through, they're heavy stuff that, you know, it's not always super easy to talk about. So one thing that I have been telling people when this comes up in conversation is the fact that although I have been very open about my struggles, it wasn't always easy for me to talk about them so freely and it took me a really long time to get to the place where I can freely write a post or make a video about, you know, eating disorders or self-image or body love or whatever. Um, the thing that I really had to come to terms with in terms of getting, you know, comfortable sharing my story is the fact that everybody out there has something that they're going with. Just let that sink in for a second. I know a lot of times we go through things in our personal lives and it feels like, you know, poor me, or I'm the only one who's going through this, or my life sucks, or why me? You know, some things that might be going on through your head. I know I am very comfortable with those questions and those thoughts. Um, but the truth is, everybody out there is going through something. It might not look exactly like what we're going through. It might be completely non-related to what we're going through, but everybody out there has a story and everybody out there has a struggle. And I personally believe that you know, when we're able to just believe that and embrace that and realize, okay, we don't have to be alone on our journey towards, you know, getting help or recovering from whatever it is or getting over any sort of difficulty, um, putting ourselves out there and being open about what we're going through gives people an opportunity to support you. And that is something that has been huge for me in terms of just being able to be vulnerable and tell my story is when I first made a blog post, this was like back in 2012, I first made a blog post about my struggles with an eating disorder. And at that point I'd been going through it for five years, but it took me five years to put a blog post out there just saying, Hey, I'm Melissa. This is what I'm dealing with. This is how I'm dealing with it. And that's it. And it was so nerve wracking for me to put that out there for the first time because I was like, okay, people are going to judge me or people are going to think I'm weak or people might not want to talk to me anymore or they might tiptoe around my issues. But let me tell you that when I put that first blog post out there, it scared the living shit out of me. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, but not one person, not one person came back at me with a judgmental comment or statement or behavior. Every single person who read that first blog came back to say, thank you, not just for sharing your story, but thank you for being brave enough to talk about what you're going through. And there were some people who they weren't necessarily going through what I was going through, but they said, you know, I had no idea. I'm glad that I know, and I'm here to support you along your journey. And there were some people that came back and said, I know how you feel. I'm going through this similar thing in my life. Like, we don't realize how many people are going through similar struggles or relatable struggles until we're actually comfortable enough to put ourselves out there. So if you're someone out there who is going through a hard time and you want to talk to people about it, but you just feel like you're afraid of being judged, being able to be vulnerable and being able to put yourself out there is one of the most powerful things that you can do to get yourself better. And I'm not saying, you know, writing a blog post or putting a video out there is going to heal you, but it will be so freeing to be able to talk about what is going on inside and just put it out there into the world. Like, trust me, the first time I did that again, it was scary. But the moment I hit send and the moment people started saying like, I get you or I want to support you, it was like a thousand pound weight that I've been carrying around on my shoulders was just lifted off in a matter of maybe 20 minutes. 
So I'm not telling you to go out there and just put it all out there, share all your deep, dark secrets or all your vulnerable moments. But if you're contemplating sharing your story and there's something, a fear of judgment or a fear of ridicule or a fear of what, what have you, you know, from the outside world, do your best to really analyze it, why you're fearful of that judgment. And something that you can ask yourself too is if people are going to judge me based off of what I'm going through, are these people really worth having in my life? Just something to consider because being able to be vulnerable and putting your story out there is one of the most strongest, most eye-opening, most healing things that you can do for your progress. And trust me, it will make you feel empowered and it will make you feel strong. And you might be pleasantly surprised with not just how many people you can help, but how many people are willing to help you. So that is my spiel for today. Um, if you are struggling with owning your truth, if you're struggling with putting your story out there, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you about just embracing that and maybe getting comfortable about talking, you know, talking about it more freely. And maybe you'll get to the point of, you know, hey, I'm gonna put myself out there because I have nothing to be ashamed of. Remember, we're all going through something, regardless of what you see on social media, regardless of the highlight reel on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, everybody out there, even the most seemingly perfect people have stuff that they're going through. So don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to own your truth. You got this, you can do it, you are strong.